Hi you guys, so now this is the Made to Move Fashion Pack doll that's available at Toys R Us. She is $24.99, so it is the exact same doll as this one. So if you have the Barbie Made to Move doll with the pink top, it's this doll, but now she comes with a pop star outfit. And additional outfits include scientists and soccer. So she comes with those two additional outfits along with the pop store outfit that she is wearing. Now this is the same doll as this one. So if you already have this one, they re-released the same doll with two additional outfits now. So I wanted to show you that real quick. So she does have the made to move body, which is really cool. So she is $24.99 at Toys R Us, you guys. So this is like the little scientist glasses, sorry. Okay, this is the scientist glasses, the uh, jacket, the blue dress, the heels, of course, is Barbie. You know, Barbie can't wear no boots. Um, this is the scope. And this is the um, pop store outfit, microphone, mic stand right here. She comes wearing these, like, really cool shoes right there. If you can see that, hopefully, we'll get a closer look as soon as we get her open. But, um, and there's her little soccer outfit right there. If you noticed, I did a soccer review. This one's not as detailed. It's just a basic soccer outfit. You know, it's, like, got soccer balls all over it. But um, it's very similar to the other outfit. They got knee highs right there and some little shoes. I don't know whether they're rubber or not. And it comes with an additional ball. So it comes in all of that for $24.99 at Toys R Us, you guys. So you can pick this up over there. So let me pop her at the box and I'm going to come right back. So stay tuned. Okay, so this doll, it's okay. It feels a little bit hollow than the rest of the Maids in Mulan, like the newer versions. This is an older version, like when they first started coming out. Like this was made after the yoga dolls were made. And then this one was made and then the different different versions like the skateboarding doll and all that stuff was made. This is the one that they made right after. I just want to clarify that, you guys. Um, So this is an older model doll. I found this at Toys R Us. So this is her right here. She's very pretty. She's about 20 something dollars. She's very, a little bit on the pricey side, but she is very nice quality. The hair is nice. I want to say that for first and foremost. Um, Nice quality hair, you guys. Um, The hair is really soft. It's got a little bit of gel like right here. In this backing area, I guess, for packaging reasons, they did stick it in there. So, and this is her pretty, pretty outfit. Pink, of course, is what else would Barbie would wear, but pink. And she's got like a tutu, high, low dress kind of thing happening. Lots of like ruffles. Yeah, it's got ruffles all the way from the top to the bottom. Hopefully you could see that, you guys. But, um, it's like almost reflecting. It's just so weird. What is, Okay. So you can see all the different ruffles in here. I mean, it's got this tool, very, very soft, soft material, you guys. I was very surprised. It's actually like almost like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's spandex, you guys. I just want to tell you guys that it is a spandex dress. It's not anything like cotton like that. Um, the tool is a little bit soft. It's not like a plasticky tool to where it's really cheap and going to rip. It's very soft. So there's some type of material, you guys. But um, her hair is about... A little bit longer than the pink top made to move Barbie. Um, you can see it's very choppy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is a little bit choppy, but it is a little bit longer. I would imagine so. It's just my opinion. And she comes with this really cute bracelet right here. Obviously, you can see that hopefully. I wish this camera would focus. It's thinking, maybe you can focus. I don't know what's wrong with this camera. Sometimes this thing does not want to focus. But she is a more hollow doll, though. I have to say that, though. She is hollow. It's something about her, I guess, because they included extra outfits. They're going to go, out the quality is going to go down on the doll. They would, their way they could still make profit, maybe using a little bit um, less thicker plastic. But it's not going to break, you guys. This is obviously a Barbie doll. So she's not going to break or anything like that. She don't, The dress does Velcro in the back. It's very, very simple. This camera is tripping out there because it's like, holy crap, it's pink. It's pink. And it's like making it look like really like whited out type pink. But um, so this is a Velcro seam right here. So this is a one piece outfit. It's not anything of special. It's just a really nice pink dress. So this is um her little mic stand. This is the Barbie doll. She is a basic model doll. Um, you can see the joints right here, made to move joints. Obviously, I could show you that really quickly. Um, you could see like she's got this little joint right here. This is a joint right here. This rotates the arm. See? Oh, let's see if we can just make that move. Okay. You can see like like this. Bam. 
and you see it, it actually controls this arm movement right here. So you can just move this back and forth if you want to. So that's a really cool feature. And she also has the thigh joints right here. You can see that like this. Let's see. She may, might, may. She's a little, they are a little bit stiff when you get them. So you have to manipulate them a little bit when you first get them because they do need a manipulation happening in order to get that stiffness out of them. They are very nice dolls. Despite this one being a little bit on the thinner side, if you own a lot of mates and barbers, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you plan on buying this. But it is a little bit thicker, if you could see. See how it's like turning just her little foot going in circles? It's just her little thigh joint right here. It's not this joint right here. This is a sitting joint. So she can sit down very well, just like a normal barber. She'd look cute like in swimsuits and stuff like that. She'd be awesome too for photography purposes and... For play, I think this play line doll is very nice. It's very nice, very nice. So she does have the pivoting ways, just like all the rest of the Made to Move Barbies. If you don't own these, look, let's see, like this. She's got so much realistic realism is happening right now. This this camera is tripping out because this, this, I mean, really? There it goes. I don't know. One, okay, there it goes. See? She's got very realistic movement. She's got a ball joint in her um, torso area so she can go like this. You know, she can go side to side. She can pretend she's swimming and all kinds of things. This hair is very soft too. I just want to tell you guys. I mean, it's like legit soft. Let's put her down for a minute. This is the mic stand that she comes with. So this is the accessory that's strapped, straddled across. Um, it's a really cute uh, microphone right here. It holds into position very well. And I want to see if Barbie can actually hold it. And it is some kind of fake, like, rhinestone wannabe kind of thing. It would have been kind of cool if they would have actual, like, added little rhinestones going down. That would be a really cool touch. I want to see if Barbie can actually hold her accessories. So you can take off the mic, um, this phone off the, um, the microphone off the, um, stand, let's see. Yeah, she can hold it, look. And this is without any type of rubber band assistance or anything like that. So she can hold it really, really well. So that's a really nice touch. Um, also included are these doctor and soccer type outfits. So I'm going to try to change her in that and see what she looks in that. Um, she has her doctor outfit is consistent of heels, which I don't get who. I mean, if you, especially if you're going to be walking the floor all day long. So I'm going to change her in her doctor outfit first so I, you can see what she looks like with that. And I'm going to come right back. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, this is the funniest um, doctor's outfit I've ever seen. Like, this is not, this is so not professional, like, really. I'm going to take, I'm going to show you this, the stethoscope first to show you when they do, like, the DNA and everything like that. They do, they use this little tool, which is really, really cute, right? And this is a non-pivot, no, it does not pivot in any way. So it's a molded piece just like that. And she looks true, and she's obviously a scientist. This is, like... I don't know. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, she's like a Barbie, obviously. But, I mean, she couldn't have, like, a pants. Oh, she's apparently drunk, too. Um, She couldn't have, like, a pants suit. Like, this is her glasses, okay? Her glasses are a little bit crooked, I know. But, I mean, she's not... They're not on straight. I have no idea why. But, but um, you know what I'm saying? She's got a, she's got a little short mini dress with a jacket. I mean, does that make any sense? No. To me, in my opinion, I think she needs a doctor's outfit, not, or even a lab scientist. Have a nice pantsuit for her. So this is the short, <laughs> short mini dress that Barbie is wearing right here. Um, This is not something that a doctor or any type of professional person would wear in a dress. This is like a cocktail dress. Why would you stick this on a Barbie doll? And think that this was cocktail. This was this is like cocktail attire. This is not professional in any way possible. Maybe a nice, you know what would have been really cool? A nice pantsuit. Like a women's pantsuit. Oh my god, that would have been so perfect. Or maybe like a, like a blue blazer or something. You know, just really pretty. Y'all could have did a really pretty doll. But y'all tried to make her a little bit scandalous right now. I don't agree with this. This is not a really cute outfit. But, I mean, I think a nice pantsuit would have been really cute. A white, uh, or even like a jumpsuit. Something just more science like and not a cocktail dress. This is my only downfall about this doll right here. The jacket looks cute, all right? It's a white jacket. It's very simple, simple stuff. It's a very cute white jacket. It's a little bit, it has a symbol on the side. It's like a science-y symbol right there. 
Like, she's supposed to be a scientist Barbie. This is not a professional scientist Barbie in any way. And the shoes were a little bit difficult to get on. That's the only downfall about these made-to-move Barbies. When you're changing the shoes, it's like they, they the feet want to pivot up. Like, you try to put it on, and they go like this. They just are wobbling all over the place because they have these joints that go side to side, up and down. So when you're trying to put on shoes, it's a little bit difficult. But they do stay on. They're just hard and very difficult to get on, especially a strappy shoe. So this is her little her little boots. So when you try to put them on, they go like this and like this. You see what I'm saying? Like you're trying to put the heels on and it goes up in the air. So, I mean, they are a little bit funny looking. I think that would have been more professional in the way like a... Like a flat, maybe, and a boot. You know what I'm saying? Just something more professional, in my opinion. I'll, as a collector, I like to see Barbie dress up appropriately for the role that she is playing. Not not, not a pole, because she's obviously not going on a pole. And this is not, this is pole attire, too. This could be like, a, she could be like a bad, uh, a bad scientist or whatever. I don't know. This is like pole attire. I'm so serious. This is like so scandalous looking. I don't, I do not like this outfit whatsoever. Now the jacket is of, it's a little bit cheapy, you guys. It's very, um, really thin polyester. Really, um, I think it's more so of a nylon. It's very thin, thin material. The dress is spandex, uh, hoochie material, obviously. And I really don't like this outfit whatsoever, but the Barbie is really nice quality. So definitely invest in the Barbie, but maybe you could change her into a different outfit. But I mean, she is just scandalous. This is horrendous. You see this? Who dresses a Barbie doll like this? this it's way, you see it's like way above her knees. Like really, you couldn't bring it down two more inches just to make it more, even if, I don't know. I just don't like this outfit. I can't, I can't keep talking about the same thing, but you, you get the idea. It's not professional in my opinion, but um, Obviously, the kids are not going to care. They're just going to think, ooh, it's science or whatever. But as a as an adult collector, I would appreciate and tell if they would actually make really nice quality, like a real scientist outfit, not a hoochie scientist outfit. This is like basically a cocktail dress. It has nothing to do with science. So next, we're going to dress her in this soccer outfit. Um, And I'm going to show you the difference between this one and the made-to-move one that you just get by yourself, like the soccer doll by itself. That way, you can see the difference in the outfits versus quality. I mean, they just threw these little cheap, I think these are really inexpensive, really cheaply, poorly made outfits. They're spandexy, they're cottony, but they, the, the way that they go together, in my opinion, is not a very good outfit. In my opinion, it's better to just buy the doll by itself with the soccer outfit and with the karate outfit because you're getting better quality. Quality versus quantity, that's how this goes. The quantity, it, it, you're getting more in the quantity, but then you get the doll by itself, with that one outfit, it's quality. You know what I'm saying? You kind of get me, right? So I'm gonna change her into this soccer outfit. I'm gonna show you the difference between the made to move Barbie and this one, so stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look at the soccer outfit first. I'm gonna show you her first and then we'll do a comparison. That way you'll see the difference. This is more so um, quantity over quality. You're getting more, so this is more so directed towards a play line thing. This is, to me, this is not a, worthy of a collector doll. I'm still going to collect her because I bought her, you know what I'm saying, but I bought them for you guys. That way I could show you the quality that you're getting. Because I don't want you to spend 23 whatever, how, how much it was? Yeah, $24.99. I don't want you to spend $24.99 on crap. But this is okay, you guys. It's, so it's more so towards, directed towards the play line. Um, little kids won't matter as far as the quality. It's not going to fall apart. But it is made out of cheap materials, spandexy, you know, nothing cottony or anything like that. So this is directed to more towards more so the play line doll. So you're getting quality, uh, quantity of a quality, you guys. So this is the doll right here. Um, she is cute. Now I'm gonna give her that. Like the doll outfit is is kind of a little bit funny looking. I don't know what they were going for, but she has like soccer balls all over her um shorts right here. Which they were going for maybe a very, it looks very generic -y to me. There's no like, like, there's no like logos on her shirt and thing. Just something to make it really a lot nicer than what it could be. But, um, everything's very, very spandex. -y. Okay, this is a spandex top. This is like a, um, nylon shorts and a nylon top, I think. Cause it, yeah, cause it's not real stretchy. So it's like a nylon material. 
The socks and shoes were very difficult to get onto as an adult. I had a hard time though, because the peak kept trying to pivot up. When you're trying to put it, push it that way, it wants to go up. It's just very difficult to get on dolls. She was on these dolls. I can't even talk today. But um, these are her little cute like red tube socks. Um, the shoes are vinyl. They're not rubber. Okay, I want you to keep that in mind. Um, these these socks are pretty nice. They have a little a tie. One of them uh, kajinkers are on the bottom, so the foot ha the socks has to be slid all the way up. They can't have that little knot on the end with the kajinker, so you will have to remove that in order to put on these Barbie shoes. Now, this is a pivoting doll, see? Like, when you're trying to put it on, it goes up like this. So, it is a pivoting foot. Just keep that in mind. Um, This is a really nice doll, but it's the same exact doll as the pink, but made to move Barbie pink top. So, if you have that doll and you collect it, this is not worth buying for me. In my opinion but if you don't have or if you have a small child that likes to play with dolls this is this is, would be a really nice purchase for them it is a really nice durable doll but as far as coming from a collector I just would prefer quality over quantity I'd rather them come with one or two outfits I mean even one outfit and make it just a scientist doll you know what I'm saying and not have all these different outfits but have cheap outfits included with them you know what I'm saying but um so let me show you the difference between this one and my other soccer doll so I do have the original made to move soccer doll that came out after this. So this was a line that they released and then it came out at later on with this new made to move line. Let me show you the difference between, so you can see what exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's do a comparison so you can see the difference. This is this is um quality of a quantity. So you're getting this one doll and this one outfit, but it's really nice quality outfit. So this is this doll here. And these are almost the identical dolls very slight different face molds but I mean they're pretty much identical right so this is the so let's do a comparison okay so this is this one do you see the difference like this one has like logos on it and think things like that and look the shorts have logos on them you, do you see the difference like she looks more like a soccer doll do you see look like the, the hair styled nicely in this really cute outfit like really seriously and this was a little bit more of a sturdier plastic. This one's a lot lighter. See, I mean, you, you get it like quality of a quantity. This doll's a lot lighter. This one's a lot more solid. So I would go with this one versus this one. Um, the made to move joints are obviously the same, but look at it, look at the shin guards. Okay, the head, this one has actual like shin guards and it's got, this one just has the tube socks and a plastic shoe. The, these shoes right here, these are rubber and these are plastic. This one has shin guards and all these different accessories. This one was only $15, you guys, and this one was $23. You see what I'm talking about? Just really, I mean, it's the same exact doll, but dressed differently, I think, in different face molds. And very slightly different, not anything that's noticeable. But to me, I think it's very slight difference. But obviously, this one is a lot lighter. So I would keep that in mind. This one's lighter, and this one's a lot more heavier duty plastic, you guys. This one's heavy, heavy, heavy. And I could definitely feel a difference if you own a lot of Nathan Barbies. You can feel a difference between these two. Um, let's take a look at her soccer ball. So um, this is the soccer ball that she does come with, which is the one with the red red right here yes and it is a little bit lighter you guys so I just want to mention to you guys that so I mean you can obviously make up your own decisions as far as that goes you guys so they have two different versions like this I would go with this one versus this one this one may come with more accessories but it's a little bit lower quality this one's a, see how she's like wobbling and stuff this one's not like that this one's sturdy and not going anywhere so I would definitely go with this pink top you could see obviously the differences in the outfits and things like that so i mean yeah what do you guys think um let me know if you let me know what you think of this doll review let me know if you're gonna buy her if you're gonna buy her that's perfectly fine because she is a play line doll she's meant to be played with she's a very generic doll to me it's a very generic outfit it's meant for little young children and things like that but as far as collecting purposes i would not recommend as far as collecting, I do these reviews for you guys to let you know what you're spending your money on. That's why I buy multiples sometimes of the same doll, so you could see the quality difference and feel the you could feel the heaviness and you could feel the lightness between these two dolls and how they're styled. I mean, that's just my opinion. I buy these dolls for you guys. So, if you like this video, just remember to like and subscribe, and you're gonna see more doll videos. Bye.